My name is Margie Parr and I'm the head coach of South Coast Blaze. South Coast Blaze is a fairly young club in New South Wales, in, in the New South Wales Premier League competition. This is our fifth year. So we have three uh, national Fijian netballers staying with us presently. My name is uh, Yvonne Kelly Vakambu Ivana Leonpao. Currently, I'm in the under 21 uh, Fiji selection team. My name is Susana Rasombali, and I'm Carly Ann in a Fiji under 21 team. My name is Kalesi Tawake, play for the Fiji Pearls. I'm here with the South Coast Blaze, here for the immersion program. The objectives of the Pacific Immersion Program is the ability to have Pacific athletes here playing in a high-level sporting competition. Excited to really be a part of their own experience in what they're, what they're developing into as strong elite athletes. More importantly, that we can actually provide them with a, with a high-performance environment for them to be able to excel. This experience has been different for me because I get to be immersed in the Blaze culture and learn a bit more about how they work around high performance. I've been liking the court work we've been doing. It's, it's got a different approach to what we got back home. It's usually sharp, but it's intense. Something that I've learned a lot, just being aggressive to the ball, like running to the ball and just really being definite, I guess just wanting it more than your position. To have these athletes here, being able to be exposed to high performance environments, being exposed to a different uh, squad, to be exposed to different experiences, and to have a, another level of knowledge only complements their own skills and natural abilities when they are coming together back, back home. So the intent for them to go home and to be able to um, use this as a strong platform for them in growth, I think is amazing. So it's a wonderful program. So today we're down here in the beautiful Kangaroo Valley and we're actually taking our athletes on a wildlife experience. As long as you can read the writing, the paddle's the right way. So the girls today will take away a little bit of self-awareness around what they are capable of, um, practising things or experiencing things that they haven't done before. My arms are about to fall off! Oh, so cool. What we're doing here today is a bit of an immersion program, a program that encompasses uh, being present, uh, allowing themselves to be still in nature. We then build upon that once they've had that intrinsic um, experience to go into some collaboration, communication, team building activities later on. So far, what I've witnessed is some great camaraderie. There's been some great support amongst the girls. We had a little incident at one of the rapids where one of the kayaks did tip over. First, there was laughter, which is always good. But secondly, was, secondly, there was, how can we help you? What do we have to do now to get this kayak upright? How do we get to the bank? How do we work all together to try and empty the water out? So what I've seen so and witnessed so far is some really good teamwork. I was a bit too close to Chrissy and we got into each other's ways and she tumbled over while I was just in my canoe. One of our teammates <laughs> fell in. <laughs> oh my, just made our day. <laughs> So what our beautiful First Nations women used to do, they used to come in here. I think actually being able to host an, a, the actual immersion program itself provides the athlete to have a cross-cultural experience, um, which would be different to something that they'd be having at home. Marge is a great mentor. She's like a big sister and yeah, she's tough off court, but I guess I'm learning a lot of her as a, as a netballer and as a young woman as well. Just keep that in your mindset. Like, it's kind of about changing the way we play that in man's window. She's more like a mum to us. So, yeah. She takes good care of us. She's proud of her Fijian heritage and I think that's something that's made it way easy for us to 
like adapt to the environment and the culture here? My mother is native Fijian and my father is Dutch. So I come from a mixed background, deeply uh, cultural. Um, and I spent a lot of time in Fiji as a child and also as an adult. I'd love to see the level of netball in Fiji increase to be the number one female sport if it isn't already, but for it to remain there and to be um, a succession for many female athletes and male athletes for years to come. My goal right now is to be part of the Fiji Pros and to be part of the Under-21 for World Cup next year. I guess it's every girl's dream to, pull, to play professionally for a sport that they love. And I guess, yeah, that could probably be a long-term goal for me. My goal is to make it to the Under-21 Fiji Pros and, uh, yeah, and also make my family proud. I would love to see our pearls to be sitting inside of that top five internationally and to make sure that all of those athletes are familiar faces throughout the community on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, maybe one day we'll have a netball drawer team, which will be an absolute moment for all of us. Yeah, learn as much as I can and encourage and motivate more girls to take up the sport. And, you know, there's, there's good things for netball if we, you know, share what we learn from here.